As Pacific Islanders, our ocean is a source of life. It helps keep our planet cool, provides oxygen for us to breathe, and nourishes us with food. Over time, however, the tides have changed. Our ocean is now being seen as a source of economic wealth. There is talk of golden apples waiting to be harvested on our sea floor. Golden apples that have been planted by nature and promises our nation will prosper in riches. Are these golden apples we seek? The authority has progressed quite a lot leading into 2023. So at the start of 2022 in Feb, the authority issued three exploration licenses. The exploration phase, which is going to be quite exciting for the Cook Islands, is all about data collection and baseline environmental data collection. So as I mentioned, we have these three license holders and they each have a work program that they will be carrying out over the next five years at least because that's how long their licenses are for and what that means is we're going to be getting back all this environmental data from the license holders who are going out and doing work to understand the environment as well as understand the resource the knowledge Popping a tea, a kit at the ravi, a tea, a ama, a kit at the way. The Akapi Emera retook that to day all. Our time at sea is approximately 33 days for our first offshore campaign. For the offshore campaigns planned in 2024 and 2026, there will be ongoing collection of environmental baseline data for our ocean, biology, and sediment studies during each respective year. Our program is a progression. Uh, starting off where we are at the moment, where we don't know a lot. Um, after two years, we will know enough about the region to start making uh, some high level and initial decisions. By year three and four, uh, we believe we should have enough data to make an informed decision. The contracts do not give anyone the right to mine or exploit the minerals. The government hasn't made any decisions yet on whether or not we'll move to the next stage to um, commercialization of the sector. We're looking to develop the sector responsibly and sustainably, as well as taking this exploration stage as an opportunity to make decisions based on the science that's going to be carried out. As you know, the scientific research required during the exploration phase can take years to complete. CSR will take a step-by-step -step precautionary approach, collaborating with the scientific community to gather scientific evidence of the impacts of nodule collections on the marine environment during the next five years. I Nara Moakitiri Rakatsupue, our words to see I see it the young reporti, the Marama de Kukui, a main or a rame to tatu, mono uno, the government, not the government idea, it will get to be to tatu its stomach. No, the Takapa puts near your way, or the reality. To tato a hokuranga kui ogi yeruko me te yao kimi kimi a te yao marama e tauturu ya tato te it's tanga te government te it's tanga ta e te tuku anga ita tato tika e me ka te kira i tato e te tuku anga rua o te yanga anga kui ogi te kui kui anga mai e te yao minera. We believe we have a responsibility uh, to share the environmental data in a transparent and open manner with the uh, with the Cook Islands.
Multiple use simply means that many activities can take place within our marae moana, which is roughly the size of Germany and France combined. At the same time, the Act also established 50 nautical mile buffer zones or protection zones around each of our 15 islands, meaning no commercial fishing or mining activities can operate within those zones. Mapping the entire ocean space of our marae moana is another key output in the marae moana act and for good reason because we first need to understand our ocean before we can definitively set aside areas for ra'ui, conservation, recreation and commercial purposes. Normally the type of data collection needed to create a whole domain marine spatial plan for marae moana would be too costly for our small country but over the next five years, the deep sea mining exploratory phase begins and two research vessels have arrived on our shores. This gives us what I believe to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to map and research our marae moana and in doing so, be the first Pacific nation to fully understand our ocean environment. It's really important that if this data is being collected, that as much data as possible is given um, to the public, it's made available freely to the public. You know, there's a lot of data that can be made public immediately, like the environmental data. So there's no real commercial reason why you would want to um, hold back data like salinity and dissolved oxygen and um, temperature and you know that, that sort of data should be freely given out immediately as soon as it's collected. The government is meant to be a public service um, and all the work that government does is meant to be in service of the people so the people should have access to all government information um, and so instead of having a culture of secrecy we should in government have a culture of transparency so that all information is publicly available um, except in very small um, situations like national security and genuine concerns over commercial sensitivity. Uh, I think a lot of data is put into that commercial sensitivity box when actually there's no real reason to hide that data. God created everything and it's perfect the way it is. But what we as humans are doing through you know, greed um, and for the purpose of uh, economic development, uh, we are actually destroying this environment and some species are disappearing as a result. We can't look at uh, our, our, our environment and our resources uh, in that sense anymore. And, and in fact, we are not in a, a place to do that now because now we have climate change as a, as a problem. Our ocean is already uh, in a bad state. The ocean is getting warmer. Ocean acidification is becoming an issue. Our fisheries are declining. Um, and here we are considering to add more uh, stress to this environment. Tower Mwana was about bringing um, a message to the community uh, in the Painua about the impacts of mining and also bring awareness to the environmental issues that our ocean are facing today. Climate change, um, exploitation um, and so forth. The challenge that we are facing is that people have already been convinced that this is the way forward, that we need to mine in order um, to address the climate change um, dilemma that we are facing today. So for us, uh, we are looking at focusing the attention on our young people to planting this seed about protecting our environment, protecting our people, our way of life, and helping our people see that we are in this space to be stewards, to be guardians of our environment.
during this exploration phase it is crucial that we also have independent research carried out to complement that data being collected by these three mining companies. These mining companies have a vested interest to wanting to mine, so it would only make sense that we also have independent research carried out to ensure that there are no biases in the data being collected. Deep sea mining is very technical and it's important when we got to the Outer Islands to make it very clear because the wording can be misunderstood. There are other economic opportunities that we could explore in our deep sea environment that would be less impactful, and that includes the possibilities around marine genetic resources or cures that we could find from this underexplored deep sea ecosystem. We don't know what kind of animals are living down there, which is why it's so important for us to get more information. Even scientists are still learning about a lot of these deep sea species. So by mining the deep sea, you're disrupting an environment that is not um, usually ever disturbed. From an NGO perspective, we have also observed that there has been an imbalance in information being shared to our communities through government. Uh, there has been a real emphasis on what the potential economic gains would be from this in industry with little attention being brought to what the potential environmental risks are. It is important that our people are made aware of both sides and all risks and all benefits so that they can be informed on whether we as a Cook Island nation should proceed with seabed mining or not. But it's only a short time. I think it's it's um it's something you have to sit and study about to know more to gain more knowledge. Kirunga ite ya talato e e raveni e e roto ite ya moana no tato.
Alik tadi ilok kerja aku nai toru. Ada elit ni tadi teraru tengai kario tato imala mak. This has interested me. I've been reading quite uh, different uh, spectrum of uh, of the uh, of, uh, views, eh? Of articles and things, eh? I like to see that we're taking a precautionary approach. You know, let's be sure about it. Um, things, you know, what's the rush? There are, you know, self-interested companies out there, you know, things. So, you know, I'm keeping well abreast of that. You know, we got to build our own capacity as a as a nation, as a country first. Don't give it to papas and their, you know, companies and things. They have their own self-interest. Uh, when a scientist is uh, espousing something, you, you look at, you know, you follow the money trail. Who is he working for? Um, because all scientists, uh, you know, they, they are not self-employed. Damage done is just going to sweep across into the various islands, you know, if there's any siltation that comes up, any plumes. Uh, we still don't know about what life is down there. I was <laughs> talking to my father, and I was <laughs> talking to my mother, and I was talking to my mother, and I was talking to my mother. I was talking to my mother, and I was talking to my mother, and I was talking to my mother. Ijo terai kau ni, ego dah bunga tak kaki dia tak. Eka dua ina kian naya kia, tu kau nak iya, nanti ego company wo kau tato pasi dia. Iji ke, nanti tato orang. Nara, kia, pilih emo itu tato temari ki, iya nak kita api, kita api je je. Walau kau tato opep, omara mara tato eka kapia. Pilih emo jauh temari kita nanti tato pasi dia, ya kimi dah bunga. Eh arah dia katu. Mekiri cik emas itu mehu, meka meta ke, meka kini tu tato mu. Tapi meta kau ni tato ah? Baru kau tio dia dia ngai pupungan itu tato orang, tio pupungan itu tato orang ngai tiaw tian ngun itu mu.